Hey, welcome back folks. This is another addition to our tires corner. And uh, today we're gonna to be working on a black tufted midge. Um, it's a great little fly. Uh, we use it all the time, uh, all through the course of the season. The last fly that we tied up was a uh, was a stone fly, which was the, the heavy you know bottom of the, the chain. Uh, it's gonna get your flies down. This one's gonna be a lot more subtle. It's gonna be one of your tag flies. So you can either have that as a dropper off of your stone fly, or if you're doing the tight line nymphing thing, you're gonna have it you know, off one of your tags uh, up above. Again, <clears throat> I don't claim to be a professional tire at all, uh, but this is a, a pretty quick tie. It's a real easy tie. Uh, it's just a small little tufted uh, zebra midge. So what we have is we're gonna start off with a size 18. These are Tiemco hooks, uh, scud hooks. I've got a 564 bead, black bead. And you can go tungsten if you want. You can go glass bead if you want. Again, totally up to you. Uh, there are no really hard and set rules. I'm gonna use a uh, just a gold wire, a fine gold wire for my ribbing today. Back to my six hot black thread and my myriad of tools. And then I have just a just a little packing foam. I probably got this out of one of my kids' Christmas presents. And uh, I'm just gonna use that as the tuft or the wing case, uh, what, what have you. So I've already got my my beads already put on the hooks because that'll take me about seven and a half minutes and you don't need to do, see that. So I'm gonna pop this into the vise and then we're gonna get started. So I already have my, my size 18 hook <clears throat> beaded up. And uh, these ones, uh, Umcores in particular, had the beads on them so I just took a moment, I just pinched down that barb and now we're good to go. Okay, folks, so now we have our hook into the vise. Again, it's already been beaded up. It's already had the barb pinched down. Uh, one of the things I did forget to mention in our equipment list was just the uh, the dubbing. So we've got some you know different color dubbing. I'm just gonna go with a standard black right now. Uh, you can do it in whatever colors you want, or you can do a wire body. Again, you can do whatever you'd like. This is a really easy, quick fly. I'm just gonna start with a, a nice thread base, start right behind the head. <clears throat> and build a base back with my 6 aught uh, black thread. Trim that off. And I've already got a piece of gold wire already cut. So I'm just going to tie that in. Again, I'm not going to get super particular with this fly. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build my body with the dubbing. You can use a dubbing wax if you like right now. You can do this however you like. I just wet my fingers just a little bit, put a little bit of that on the, uh, on the thread. Uh, you know, I will use the dubbing wax in certain cases when it's applicable. I just really find that in this situation, again, it's a quick, easy fly. Uh, I'm not going to get super particular about it. So I just build a nice little dubbing base there. Just a little dubbing noodle on my thread. And then I'm just gonna tie that in and I'm gonna build it up as it goes. So it'll start a little bit thinner and then I'm gonna build it up so it'll be a little bit heavier up towards the head. So you have a nice tapered to your body. Just bring it right forward. And I'm gonna leave a little gap right behind the, the head itself because that's where I'm gonna end up tying off everything else. I'm going to take my wire and I'm just going to attach my hackle pliers to that just because it makes it a little bit easier for me. And you can rotate the device now if you'd like. I'm just going to do a pretty standard wrap, about three or four wraps going forward. Just gives it a little bit of flash, a little bit of segment to the body. Come in right behind the head. A couple of wraps, tie that off. I'm going to go in tight with my scissors get down the crook there so you're not dulling your tips when you're cutting it off a couple more wraps spin it to tighten up the thread then i just have my foam packing material this stuff right here and i'm just going to cut a small little sliver of that you know it may be an eighth of an inch wide maybe a quarter inch long and that's just, uh, I cut it a little bit longer just because it's easier to handle it. So I can just hold it out there and just tie it in. And that's going to fold itself right in behind the bead itself. Just lock it in there a little bit. 
There we go. So then I have my whip finisher, and again, you can half hitch this if you like. Tie that right off like that, trim my thread. Now you can use the tips for that. Then I come into my wing case, I'm gonna trim that up nice and tight. Make it whatever length you want. Right, you know, again, you can always leave it longer, cut it back when you have to. Quick little finish off right here. A little head cement. And that's our tufted midge, folks. And again, we'll use this all season long. If you want to go smaller, nondescript, you can certainly do that. You can go bigger, tie it without the tuft, or tie it in whatever colors you'd like. It's very, very versatile and really quick. So thanks a lot, folks. Join us next time, and we're probably going to do a video and maybe do a little uh, little rigging party. So we'll show you how to like hook them up and we'll do some diagrams on that. So thank you, folks. Have a great day.